hello guys welcome back to my channel um once again i'm still filming doing this last week before i go back to work pumping out these videos my son is here i know you heard it before so if you get interruptions about him just know i apologize for it so in this video we're gonna it's gonna be like a some people do like um they do anti hauls and they do like um will i buy it or not but i'm gonna call my series spend it or save it so we're gonna look at some upcoming items that are going to be coming out some are holidays some of them are already out and i'm just adding them to this video and we're gonna um let us know if we're gonna be spending that corn or we're gonna be saving that corn now you know your girl is on the low buy slash no buy so she's gonna be saving a lot of coins and so this might be an anti-haul but of course some of these items i'm going to be into picking up so the first item we're going to talk about is the pat mcgrath new foundation her skin fetish foundation now for me this is going to be a save my coin i'm not going to spend my coin on this because i've seen some reviews on this foundation they said that it's a very light coverage I have like coverage foundations that I'm in love with. I'm not gonna pay 60 something dollars for a foundation that's light coverage. They said that you could probably get a BB cream and get the coverage that Pet Foundation is providing people with for $60. Um, so, and then I'd also, they said that the foundation, you need to apply it with your fingers because makeup artists like to apply makeup with their fingers. Um, I don't like getting, you know, my vanity is white. I don't wanna be, but so I don't want all this. I want all that all over my hands, baby. I don't. I want to use a brush. I want to use a sponge. I want to use my tools. That's why I bought these tools. I want to be in there getting, getting, getting my hands dirty. So that's gonna be a uh, save a coin for me. Um, the next product we're gonna be talking about is going to be. We're gonna talk about the Elf. It's coming out with a new face product line. Um, they got some cleansers and some more things up there. I'm going to be passing on all things Elf dealing with face cleanser because their last face cleanser that I tried um, had my face in a hot mess. So, therefore, I'm not going to knock Elf as a total brand. But as far as in their cleansers, I went by for my three-year-old child. Um, we're going to pass on that. So, we're not going to be purchasing that. So, Elf also has... Come, they're coming out with some new palettes and they look really nice. They look good. I don't really trust a formula for palettes. I like a good formula. If I'm going to get a drugstore palette or a low palette that doesn't cost a lot, I'm going to go with ColourPop or Juvia's Place. Um, some palettes that I know that are pigmented and it's going to give me a good formula. And I, I don't mind spitting a coin and saving a coin, but I'm not going to get off my coin for their palettes because I just, I just don't think they're worth the money. So the next product we have is the new Tatcha Eye Cream. Um, and Tatcha products are really good to me. I like Tatcha products, but I'm going to be saving a coin on this product just because I'm not in the market for a new eye cream in it's a high-end product, so it's fairly expensive, and I don't want to use my gift card on an eye cream. I'm looking more of to using my gift cards on some holiday packaging, eyeshadows, maybe some lippies, some products that I already love. I'm just not looking for uh, eye cream right now. There's also a new palette coming out by Venus, and it's a very colorful palette. It's a very colorful palette. I love the colors. It's beautiful. It's bright. It's going to be an ultra. This is going to be a save my coin for me because I have lots of colorful palettes. Um, I have the Jukius Plays Zulu palette, which you all saw. Um, I also have the Box of Crayons by Crayon Case by Super. Um, eyeshadow palette that is very colorful. And I'm going to try to do a tutorial with you guys of doing a colorful look. We're going to use multiple colors. I'm going to try to use this palette. We're going to see how it works for us. But I have a lot of colorful palettes. And me, I'm getting ready for fall. Um, fall is my favorite season. I'm getting ready. I want some dark, deep palettes. I want to see some holiday palettes. I'm not I'm not in the mood to be purchasing new colorful palettes. Um, maybe they should have released this next summer, next spring or sometime in 
maybe that could have gotten a buy for me. The next thing we're going to talk about is Kylie came out with her, I think it's already out, her um her limited edition birthday set. That's going to be a pass to me. Basically, that palette looks like Too Faced. Um, it looks like that Too Faced. What is the name of that? that um, the big one. I can't think of the name of it. It's the Too Faced. Pretty Rich Palette. It looks like the Too Faced Pretty Rich Palette to me. Um, It looks like some spring colors. It's got a lot of pinks in there. Some shimmer shades. The lip glosses. The lipsticks and stuff. They look pink. Which is like some spring colors to me. I have the Sweet Talk Palette here. Which is one of, which has been one of my favorite palettes. For the spring and the summer. Um, Second to none other than the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. Um, so with this being as pink and as beautiful as this, and it was cheaper from ColourPop, I, why, would, why would I need Kylie? You, everybody say Kylie is, I ain't gonna talk about Kylie brand, but everybody called Kylie brand ColourPop, uh, higher price ColourPop, because they say a formula and everything she buys, basically, everything she makes is basically like ColourPop. I don't know, I haven't tried um, Kylie's brand before, but why would I buy Kylie Wynn? I got ColourPop for a cheaper price. Um, so this is going to be a save a coin for me. The next product we're going to talk about is the Jackie Ina ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills Palette. Who here for it? I'm here for it. Um, this is already a spent coin because it's already in the mail on the way. I'm going to have a review and swatches coming for you guys later. We're actually going to be going away for this weekend. So, it's supposed to be here on Friday. So, if the mail run, maybe I could get that video filmed before we leave. Maybe get it edited while we're down there. But if not, I may take it with me, film it while I'm down there. I'm going to definitely try to get this video up as soon as I can. I'm so proud of Jackie Anna. If you do not know who Jackie Anna is, she is a black YouTuber. Um, here she's been here for the people she's been down for the people she's one of the first people to speak out about the foundation shade ranges she is a pioneer and an engineer she's a very beautiful woman and I look up to her and most of us do so I'm excited that Jackie Anna has this palette this palette is limited edition so it's not going to be on sale always um, I'm going to be picking up this palette for one because it's Jackie Anna for two I actually like this palette. It's got some deep, dark colors in there. It's got some fall time colors. It's the colors that I'm looking for. It's the type of palette that I am looking to purchase it now going into this new season. It's in bias. Everything that I am looking for. But um, I haven't tried an ABH palette. This is going to be my first ABH palette. And I'm excited that it's going to be this Jackie Aina palette. So I cannot wait to dive into this with you guys and give you guys a review of it. It's going to be awesome. I already know this palette is going to be awesome. Now, there's a lot of reviews of this palette already out there. But, um, I haven't seen them. So, it's going to be a first impressions for me. So, next we have Jeffree Star in the Morphe Collection, which is already out. I'm going to be honest with you, you guys. This is a, I think this is a good palette. This is a beautiful color story. Of course, Jeffree Star is not going to disappoint. He's got a prestigious brand. If you don't know who Jeffree Star is, he's a big millionaire bazillionaire got his own brand here on youtube a lot of people love him um but he has his own brand and he released his own palettes on his own brand so the only thing i i'm a little confused about if you have your own brand you're releasing palettes for 50 60 dollars however much you selling your palettes for why would you collab with morphe which is known as a drugstore brand sometimes the iffy brand when it comes to their formula why would you release a uh, a lesser quality palette when you set your bar up here for your palette for your stuff that you release on your channel everybody says it's great i have, i don't think i have for him with some leafies so everybody says his formulas is great his palette so you don't set the bar up here and we know morphe is somewhere around here so you will risk your name and your brand to come somewhere down here to release this palette um with morphe the only thing that i can think of is that Jeffree Star is saying that he wants to make a more available, a more affordable palette for his fans. I feel like if that was true, then he would do like Natasha Denona, um, downsize your palette so you can downsize the cost, um, make a mini palette, make a smaller palette that's more affordable. I would not go, I do not understand why he would 
do this with Morphe. But the palette is beautiful. I'm not going to knock it. I don't think I can say, hey, get your coin. But, um, and then he came out with some, some brushes, some Shop Miss A brushes. They look, they ain't Shop Miss A brushes, but they look, they look like Shop Miss A brushes. Let me find my shop. Let me find my shop. Miss A brush that I got in a pack for ten fifty five. You know what? I wouldn't. I would have liked these brushes better if he would have stuck to. That's what they look like. Shop Miss A brushes. You can get like ten of these for ten fifty five. His brushes are gonna cost forty two dollars for like five brushes. But um, if those brushes match the theme of the first set of brushes that he put out, which were basically the wet and wild brushes, kind of like this, um. If his brushes match that theme, then I can understand the cost point. But you got a plain brush. They look just like the Jaclyn Hill brushes. Um, so that's going to be a save my corner. The only thing that I'm interested in in this collection is the setting spray. It's a strawberry scent and it's $2 more than the regular Morphe. I have not tried the Morphe setting spray, so I've been interested in it. So I thought about maybe pick, picking up this setting spray, but we'll see. But I'm not... Nike and Jeffree Star, get your money. The palette actually looks good. I'm sure the brushes are going to be great products. It's just not going to be for me. I'm going to save my coin. Comment down below if you're going to be picking up any of these items. Are you going to be saving your coins? Are you going to be spending your coins? Let me know. So the next item that we are going to be discussing is going to be... I don't, I don't want to do that one. Um, we got Too Faced. Too Faced, are, Too Faced is already... Baby, Too Faced and Leap released Leap about three different palette pictures. It, they come, they're coming in strong for the holiday season. So the first palette they have is the um, Palm Springs Dreams palette. It looks like a mini palette. I'm sure the formula is going to be great. I'm just not interested in that color story. Too Faced se seems like to me they come out with the same color story. That, that color story looks like the Pretty Rich. Looks like the White Peach palette. So that's gonna be a pass for me. I feel like Too Faced just needs to. They, I want them to wow me this holiday season. I want to be wow. I don't want to be bored. So next thing we're gonna talk about is ColourPop. We already know that ColourPop has a ton of these monochromatic palettes coming out. Seems like they got a different color um, scheme coming out for their palettes. Um, this I already have the green one. So just my look. I love it. Some of the shades in here, not that great, but of course, you don't pay that much for it. So they have the blue, the yellow, the orange, the red, the purple, the green. I mean, color pop, any color that you can might think of, you can get it. A whole palette of nothing but that shades. And I love these. I only own the two. So I think these may be the only two that I own. So this is going to be a save of corn for me. I may go pick up that yellow one just because I don't have a lot of yellows in my collection and it looks pretty. But if I judge that by the yellow shade that's in the the lid palette, I don't want that palette because that yellow shade is not that great. But I think I may try the yellow one. It's not that much money. And so we'll see how the that does. So I definitely recommend if you guys want to spend a coin on ColourPop to spend a coin on ColourPop. But that's going to be right now a save a coin for me. So the next item that we have is Too Faced is coming out with um looks like they're re they're they're launching a gingerbread collection. They're coming out with a gingerbread bronzer, looks like a gin, a gingerbread thing, lippy. Um the lippy looks gorgeous. Um I would definitely get a lippy. That bronzer looks good, you know. Too pop, too pop, <laughs> too pop. Um Too Faced is um very famous for having great scents and in some of their palettes. So I'm sure this bronzer may be scented. I'm not sure. But it looks great. And it looks like it's going to be deep enough for um, all shades. Maybe too deep for some. But um, if I was in the market for a new bronzer, I would definitely pick up that Too Faced bronzer. It's so good. Too Faced is so good with their packaging. Like, they holiday packaging. You ain't even going to like what's inside. But they so good with their marketing and with their packaging. That packaging would get you with, with Too Faced. So, um... If I was in the market for one of these products, I would definitely get, I would definitely get it from Too Faced. Um, they're also coming out with a revamp of the gingerbread palette. So I have here the original gingerbread palette, the gingerbread spice palette. They are coming out with a gingerbread extra spice palette, which to me, Too Faced, that 
it don't look extra spicy to me, baby. It look extra, it looks extra bland. It looks just like the white peach palette. Only one color looks interesting to me, and that's that little bluish type color down at the bottom. The rest of it, that palette looks like it looks like the white peach palette. It looks like all the other Too Faced palettes. It just looks boring. This is the original gingerbread palette, and to me. This speaks more gingerbread. It speaks more fall colors. It's got more darker colors in here that I would use. I really enjoyed this palette last year. I'm going to enjoy this palette this year too because this extra spicy palette, it's going to be a hard save my money. Save a coin on that and I'm going to pass on that. But it's very pretty. I mean, it's not, it won't, the formula won't disappoint you. It's, it is a pretty beautiful palette, but I have those colors. So therefore, this is going to be a save a coin for me. Um, so the next item, so Too Faced is also coming out with another new palette, which is called the Christmas Star Palette. And this palette, the packaging on this palette, oh my goodness, Too Faced is killing the game with their packaging. The packaging on this palette is bar none. It's like so super cute. Like I would buy this palette just for the packaging. The colors in this packaging, they are looking more folly more deeper colors than some of the other package the other um some of the other palettes that Too Faced are coming out with so if I were to purchase one of the Too Faced holiday palettes it would definitely be the Christmas star palette now I know they say that Too Faced formulas sometimes are not that great in their other palettes that the rectangular palettes are the best formulas to buy from Too Faced but if I were going to spend a coin on anything um Too Faced this Chris this holiday season it would be this Christmas star palette because to me their palette is just so super cute I would buy it just for the packaging so Too Faced you did this so I'm not gonna say this is a save a coin or spend a coin this is a I don't know coin but I'm gonna need my accountability partners to keep me straight the only way that I would purchase this palette if I use my gift cards at Sephora I hope you guys enjoyed my um my save a coin or spend a coin. Please comment down below. Let me know if you're gonna be picking up any of these items or are you gonna be saving your coins like I am and you're gonna be passing on some of these items. Um just leave me a comment. No, thank you for subscribing. Please uh, like the video, leave me some comments, and I appreciate all you who support me. Thank you.